what you're about to hear will be distressing. But I remind you all that no one member is above our Constitution. Not the highest ranking elected officers, no one. We are all equal under that Constitution. Every step was taken to investigate and bring this matter to light in a fair and timely manner. An investigator determined that Diaz engaged in a number of breaches of the Uniform Code of Eth Ethics. The investigation found that Diaz accepted money from a supplier of COVID-19 rapid test kits that he had introduced to employers of Uniform members. None of the employers had knowledge of this. As such, Unifor will not be identifying them. The supplier was not a participant in the investigation, so we won't be identifying them either. Based on the information available to her, the investigator made the following findings, again, on the balance of probabilities. She found in December 2021 and January 2020, Diaz promoted a supplier's rapid test kits to various Unifor employers, either directly or through Unifor staff under his direction. Several employers of Unifor members purchased those test kits. At some point prior to January 20th, 2022, Diaz accepted the sum of $50,000 from the supplier. On January 20th, Diaz gave a Unifor employee what Diaz says was half of those funds, $25,000, telling the employee that it had come from the supplier. The employee subsequently filed a complaint under the Unifor Code of Ethics and delivered the funds he had received from Diaz to me as National Secretary Treasurer. Diaz was asked to participate in the investigation. However, the investigator's findings were made without the benefit of his evidence. He has provided medical documentation indicating that he suffers from a number of health issues and went on medical leave on February 6th.